What's up, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only James Williams, Star Wars, the Stankonian ambassador, and I'm back. Hold up. Wait. I'm looking a little bit scruffy. I'm looking a little bit scruffy. We're going to have to do something about this. Hold on. We'll be right back. All right. We're back, and that's much better. I don't look like nobody cares about me. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be continuing down the rabbit hole that we were on yesterday. So to bring you up to speed, if you weren't paying attention yesterday, you walked down the rabbit hole of what's really going on behind lizard people. What's really going on behind a lot of things that are happening around the world. Skinwalkers, lizard people, you name it. I think it all has relation to this. And I think it's important that we touch on this. Now, I touched upon this subject if you've been following me. For a long time you know i touched upon this two years ago when this all actually was going down um i probably was one of the only people in the cryptic community to ever talk about it but i brought it to your attention because i felt like it was important and with that being said let's get into it ladies and gentlemen people wonder where these strange beings that we're seeing are coming from whether it be um lizard people dogman bigfoot all these different things. I submit to you today that our government is behind it all. Every last bit of it. Everything you've seen, they are behind it. And I'm gonna walk through some of the things that brought me to this conclusion with these videos. Um, and for those of you who don't know me, I have been in the cryptid field for nine years. I've done over 327 interviews at this point in time, or 337 interviews at this point in time. I'm pretty sure it's 37 interviews at this time talked to over a thousand eyewitnesses on the phone took their stories my research is public uh you can look up dogman 101 102 103 and 104 and i've done a deep dive into all this and it just didn't make any sense i mean it just doesn't make any sense um so my premise is this my premise is this there's lizard people real lizard people that are in control and they're doing everything in their power to make sure that they ruin this planet and control humanity now whether you say a lizard person is an actual lizard or a demon or a demonic entity they could be interchangeable i mean some people won't go for lizards some people will go for demons some people will go for elites i think it's all interchangeable clearly there's something lizardy about the whole situation so right now i'm focused on the lizard aspect of it I'm focused on that lizard asses. You heard me? But clearly there's something else going on as well. Now, chimeras. I was trying to find everything I could find about chimeras. The only thing I was able to find was this guy talking about it. Now, he was doing it as a, as a form of satire. Telling the truth with satire, which is the way you actually get the truth out. Most people think you just tell the truth and say, yeah, those people over there are a bunch of lizards. People are going to look at you like you're crazy. But nonetheless... Here we go. Involved using human embryos. For example, scientists have tested drugs on mice with humanized livers to predict how a regular human might react. The National Institutes of Health, the U.S. government agency in charge of biomedical and public health research, had put a ban on funding research with certain types of human animal chimeras. Recent experiments have created. Stop pause. Stop pause point i want to make to you right now the man just said they put a ban on certain types of research with human animal chimeras was that you know they've been busting this move for quite some time and they've been researching for quite some time this is a stopgap measure of them trying to hold people accountable on the back end so it means that people been doing it and now they're saying hold on hold on hold on we need to we need to put a stopgap measure in place because somebody them found out about something that was created that they didn't really like. I mean, it's just me translating it from his language to Negro knees and explaining it to you. They done did something that done caught somebody's attention and they saying, hold on, bro, you can't be out here in these streets doing this. We got to try and find a way to dial it back or at least make it seem like we dialing it back. Created human chimeras made with pigs, sheep, mice that are 4% human and even elephant seals. 
The International Society for Stem Cell Research has released new guidelines to allow the study of human embryos for longer than 14 days. The chair of the task force that wrote the guidelines say it's both difficult and pointless to propose any new limit. Senator Mike Braun says human life is distinct and sacred, and research that creates chimeras should be completely prohibited. Senator James Lane. Stop. I'm going to tell you like this. If you're in a lab, I told y'all yesterday about the test tube babies, and I said they've probably been making test tube babies. Clearly, they've been making test tube babies. So here's the dilemma we're there, that we're facing. And this is what happens when you have those big brain scientists, people who have no connection to the world doing things unsupervised. My background is in engineering. I can consider myself to be a big brain, but not quite of a big brain as those people. But here's what I do know about big brain people. Mega mind people. They are completely and totally disassociated and detached from society. For example, I'm a big brain engineer, but I still go to the hood to get my hair cut. And when I walk into the hood to get my hair cut, there's no misconceptions. There's no confusion about the state of America, about the state of the country. Because somebody, they got they got yellow tape out there. They got yellow tape up the street. So when you ride past yellow tape to go get your hair cut, you know it's real out here in these streets. When you go into the barbershop, you open the front door and that marijuana smoke busting your nose, everybody in there laughing, clowning and joking. And then when you really, really listen to what they're talking about, they explain about how their auntie died and how their cousin passed away and how they having problems paying their bills. You understand you, you can have the biggest brain you want, but you understand that humanity is still suffering. But what ends up happening is these big brains, they get in these labs and nobody there but them. Y'all need somebody like me in the lab because I smack the crap out of you. Like, why are you splicing that? Pow! I'm talking about pow! Not like this. I'm just you just turn that wrist. Pow! Smack the piss out of them. You're like, you need to calm down. What you doing? How you think it's gonna affect the whole entire world? But nobody in there to slap them. That's the problem. So they're playing God. That's what they're doing. They're playing God. Now, some of y'all gonna be like, there's no such thing as God. Shut your ass up. I don't care what you believe. They playing God. Straight up, that's what they're doing. And people trying to push back on Lankford says researchers should focus on valuing the dignity of human life, not trying to genetically merge and manipulate humans and animals. Senator Steve Daines says we shouldn't become like China by failing to recognize the distinct value of humans over animals. Senator. Oh, he just snitched on China. He just snitched on China. So here you go. Now you know. China definitely been doing it. Y'all know where that they were saying that came out of. They said it came out of Wuhan. So what I'm saying to you is this China been doing it. China been doing it. And I dare to say this. I dare to say this. I keep I guarantee you, if you keep going down this rabbit hole, you find out that the black budget funding for probably what's going on in all kinds of other places came from your damn tax dollars, right out your wallet. Are you paying thirteen dollars for gas? Seventeen point seven dollars for for uh, for eggs. Nineteen point one two dollars for bacon. They're just sending your money over there to make humans, to make animals, to make monsters. Yeah, they're making monsters. That's what they're doing. They're making monsters. Dr. Braun also slammed the International Society for Stem Cell Research for providing guidance that loosen restraints on human embryo research. These Negroes want to lose him. This is crazy. Violations would result in either 10 years imprisonment, a $1 million fine, or both. 48 Republicans. No, 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 no. 10 years in prison ain't going to get it. Mm -mm. Mega brains need to have life in prison, and they need to have everything taken from them. No, no, no fines, just life in prison. Matter of fact, the mega brains that's doing this need to be executed. Let's just go with it like that. Republicans supported the amendment but 49 Democrats and independents voted against it. It's the most. So basically the bill didn't pass. The bill didn't pass. So guess what? They tried to pass the bill in the Senate and it didn't pass. If you listen to the numbers, they didn't pass the bill. So guess what? They out there wilding out in the streets over the past two years, unrestricted, basically on making human animal chimeras, making monsters. And then you wondering why you seeing stuff in the woods. Come on, man. 
You're wondering why you're seeing stuff in the woods. Then you get to talking about how everybody was running at the deep underground bases. The domes. The monsters are in the domes. I bet their asses is in the dome. I'm pretty sure they are in the dome. Now, this is a homegirl from yesterday. I finished watching that. And I found some of the things she said to be extremely interesting. And we're going to spend a few minutes looking at her. I'm going to break down some of the things she said. When we get starts to get towards transhumanism, you're going to realize why two years ago they was defending these laws. Now, she had this, this, this talk that she did. She did it seven years ago. So seven years ago, she was talking about transhumanism um, and how the government, DARPA itself, the big brains of the government, were experimenting with transhumanism. This was seven years ago. This was the results of her research and her conversations that she put into a book. I just surmised that it took her maybe about two years to get to that point. So you go seven years back and then you go two years beyond that. We're talking about nine, almost 10 years ago. She was in labs with them looking at the stuff they're doing. Fast forward, talking about 12, 13 years possibly now. And only two years ago did they get to the point to where they said, hey, maybe we need to put a stop to some of this stuff. And they weren't they didn't do it. They didn't do it. Most powerful, most productive military science agency in the world. And it's also one of the least reported on. DARPA. DARPA does many great things. It, of course, created the Internet, originally called the ARPANET. Because of DARPA, we have GPS Tell them again, technology, girl. Um, sensor technology. But DARPA's That's mandate, fun. as was instructed to Congress when DARPA was created in 1958, is to create vast weapon systems of the future. For those of y'all who missed it yesterday, that's why I'm recapping this. DARPA makes weapon systems. It's very important that you understand this. So everything that she's talking about moving forward is in a context of a weapon system, right? She's going to talk about the internet. That means the internet is a weapon system. She talked about cell phones. That means the cell phones is a weapon system. GPS, GPS, weapon system, all right? So I need you to understand everything is in the context of a weapons system. We talked about this yesterday. This is for the people who didn't, who just tuning in. DARPA has also done its job to create this very powerful, almost omnipotent military industrial. Stop. She just used the word omnipotent, godlike. I just told you these people try and play God. Just want to bring it out to you. Industrial complex that is forever creating new weapon systems. Once the other, once the weapon systems become public, and the enemy creates that same weapon system, so, so basically, big brain DARPA uses a weapon. It becomes public. Other people figure out what we're doing because they got it used on them, and then they figure out they're gonna do it them damn selves. And then DARPA rolls on to the next one. So it rolls out a weapon, destroys people and things. Other people figure out what they're doing. Other countries figure out what we've done. They use the same weapon to destroy people, places, and things. And then DARPA rolls out the next one. Surprisingly, that's just translated to Negro. They aren't really familiar with this. I mean, there's a, a lot of talk about, wow, what if? When in fact, this is dogma at the Pentagon. And you can read about it in their unclassified reports that talk about DARPA's plans and the Pentagon's plans for drones and autonomous warfare. So if those who are advising the Pentagon how to proceed and which vast weapon systems of the future to create are the very individuals who are responsible for creating and... See? Big brains everywhere. I just told you, mega mind, big brains, not connected to society whatsoever. And selling those vast weapon systems of the future, then you have that closed loop that Eisenhower warned against. And with that, it's, it's almost a, a conscience. DARPA calls it transhumanism, military transhumanism. But in an interesting way, this is actually part and parcel of the whole movement towards robotics. Total information awareness uh, program. And that was this idea to use sensor technology to monitor American citizens, to look at their credit card transactions, to look at the library books they take out, to monitor who they're talking to, to try and create with computers which are now very sophisticated and algorithms which have gotten 
What's your boy said yesterday? I'm, I'm, I'm not lying to you. When I tell you I didn't watch this whole thing yesterday, bro, I only grabbed that snippet. What's your boy told y'all yesterday? I told y'all that these algorithms was a weapon. The same damn algorithm that I'm talking to you through right now that allowed me to get to you. And I know it's a weapon because there's times that they won't allow me to get to you. The same damn algorithm is a weapon. In fact, that little box you're looking at me on right now, I don't know if it's a box in your hand, if it's a box mounted on your wall, if it's a box you got laying in your lap, if it's a tablet box that you're holding with your two thumbs, that's a damn weapon. You understand? You heard me? It's a weapon. I said this yesterday. I just want to make sure we understand this. Now, let me say this. Transhumanism, meaning the melding of humans and machines. Yesterday, you heard Shorty right here talking about them taking a moth and putting the, the, uh, the technology in the law of us so when the moth got to be grown, they could fly the moth around, right? So don't it make all the sense in the world that if you need it, I mean, really, like, let's say you really, really need it to track down somebody in them woods. Don't it make all the sense in the world that you would develop some kind of animal that you could control that's part human, part wolf, part human, part bear, part human, part bird. And then you control that thing while it goes through the woods and wreaks all kind of havoc. Don't it make perfect sense based on this? Yeah, it make perfect sense to me. Make all the sense in the world to me. Then you add in the reptilians. You add them in. Spraying stuff to blot out the sun so the planet could be warmer. Right? Because the reptiles like stuff hot. Bro, I'm just trying to tell you, man. Everybody be talking that conspiracy theory stuff. Use a use a use a tart much more sophisticated with help from NSA, etc., to then use this system of systems to find not the Ho Chi Minh fighter on the trail, but rather the terrorist among us. DARPA had created... So they want to use the system to find a terrorist among us. But the term terrorist is a label that's applied to people. You see what I'm saying? Terrorist is ambiguous. It's got to be applied to a certain group of people. A certain looking person, a certain talking person, a certain walking person, a certain person with a certain set of beliefs. That's what becomes a terrorist. You hear me? Now, of course, there are terrorists that run around and blow people up with bombs. Those those do exist. You know what I'm saying? They be wild. But also, it's just so such a broad scope. When you start just throwing that word around. Agent Orange during the war, DARPA set about this sprawling program where it hired anthropologists and social scientists to go into the field to conduct interviews to try and find out what made the Viet Cong tick. Social scientists. For a second. What do you think social science is? Social science is the study of how societies interact and how people interact social scientists go in around the time of vietnam and now we got what's called social media which is a vast network that allows them to monitor everyone this is making me want to delete all my social media the more i think about it this is ridiculous this is ridiculous press office does a great job of getting that those kinds of stories out so that the citizenry is aware of you know what the agency is capable of so no one else is willing to fund limb regeneration technology that may pay off in 25 years DARPA was DARPA you know seems to be entering into arenas way before the public even knows about them Oh, hell yeah, the in arenas way before the public knows about them. She kind of dry snitching on DARPA. She's doing it in a safe, very smart way. In a cute, safe, smart way. But she dry snitching on them. Like, she dry snitching on them. The way she phrasing things, she ain't really telling on them, but she telling on them. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the police roll up on you, be like, hey, man, you know who shot that dude up the street? Man, I don't know nothing about who shot that dude up the street, but I saw somebody run that house over there. Dry snitching. That, that's what she's doing. Congress, you know, that's one of hundreds of documents that 
different congressional committees have to look at. GPS technology, because everyone knows about it, you know, we all use GPS, that is a DARPA technology. I think the most interesting one and the one that I know about um, to, the, to the greatest degree is the CIA's DARPA. It's called IARPA. She just snitched on the CIA, said they got their own DARPA. Did y'all know there was an IARPA? I didn't know there was an IARPA. This agency functioned exactly as it was supposed to and how little waste there was. So there's this idea what? of how important that human with a conscience is, which is why when we come to the end of the book and you learn about artificial intelligence, um, you really have to stop and say, wait a minute, a thermonuclear weapon may be indefensible against, but it can't launch itself. Amen, sister. That's what I'm talking about. You're damn right. It can't launch itself. So somebody got to hit that button. And see, when that's what I was saying yesterday. Even the worst of the worst human being ain't willing to do certain things that a robot will just do. It ain't going to launch itself. They're going to need somebody. That, if you got a human now, that's got to hit that button. Y'all seen all the movies where the dude got the military briefcase and he got to turn the two keys and they're sitting there timing it okay. We're gonna turn the key, punch in the code. They, you know, they crack open a little thing. They got the code. They punch it in, and they hesitate to turn the keys because that human gonna sit there and say, "Hold on, man. If we turn these keys, the whole world gonna come to an end. It's gonna all get turned over to the lizards because they could deal with that. We can't. So the human gonna say, "Hold on, man. I got a mama. I got a daddy. I got a sisters, brothers, uncles, cousins, nieces, nephews, godchildren. Do I want to destroy everything?" And then they're going to sit down. They're going to say, hold on, man. We need to talk this out. We don't need to blow everything up. Maybe we need to stab it out, shoot it out, box it out, talk it out. But we don't need to blow everything up. But if you can get that computer, boy, if you can get that computer to do it. Ooh, we all dead. Yes, sir, we all gone. Everybody has a different role. And everybody decides for themselves with their own conscience, you know, Amen. what best suits them and what action they should take. I came across a DARPA document uh, sh that was produced shortly after the Battle of Mogadishu, Black Hawk Down, when DARPA suddenly realized that it had to address this idea of urban warfare. We created, DARPA created an entire system with an enormous amount of money called Combat Zones That See. Combat Zones That See. Combat Zones That See. I, I'm willing to guarantee you. Now, I, 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 I don't have proof of this. I promise you, I don't have proof of this. But I'm willing to guarantee you. You see all them damn crime cameras all over the place? And here in New Orleans, they got a camera on every pole, but Negroes getting shot every day. But see them, them, them crime cameras with the little red and blue light? I guarantee you it's a spinoff of this combat zones that see. I promise you it is. Because they make all the sense in the world. Make all the sense in the world. Is that a, that's it? Shorty done talking. Listen, I'm just jumping down a rabbit hole and I'm doing it live. That's all it is to it. And I ain't like just off the top of the dome. But what I'm saying to you is this. You see, this is why people need to have their eyes open and be paying attention. And I know people be like, oh, I want to see a scary story. I want to hear, bro, this is scarier than any damn story I could ever tell you. And I could tell you some scary stories. I'm the best storyteller there is. But I'm going to tell you, this is scarier than any story I could ever tell you. This is what's happening to you right now. And she, this woman right here, she knew about it nine, ten. Let's just make it easy. Ten years ago, because she was in the midst of it researching it. So if 10 years ago, they were showing her controlling moths um, and flying moths around because they put a brain chip in a moth. What the hell is they doing right now? And mind you, they only wanted to show her a little bit. So what the hell were they really capable of doing at that point? In time? That's all this thing going the ambassador is saying to you, man. Pay attention. Wake up. Wake up. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to what's going on around you. I'm out of here, man. This is kind of disgusting, man.